So to configure a webhook, you can go to your GitHub repo and that if you click on settings of the particular repository, you can see an option called webhooks. Let me repeat in my repo. If you go to settings, there will be an option called webhooks. Okay. That. Okay. So let me delete that. There is an existing webhook. Let me delete that. Let me create a new webhook. Yeah. So let us click on add webhook. And in the pit, sorry, in the payload URL, I need to give my Jenkins public IP. Okay. There. I need to add an entry called github hyphen webhook. Okay. So the payload URL should be this. There, just change your Jenkins IP. Slash github hyphen webhook slash. And the content type is application JSON. The content type should be application JSON. And then if you want to, you are allowed to select on what events I want the webhook to be triggered. Okay. Whenever I do a push, whether it will be triggered or I can just say whatever happened on the repo, you just push it or otherwise. I can select it. Okay. When a branch is created, okay. When a branch is deleted, I'll be able to select individual components. Okay. So instead of that, let me just use the push option, just the push option. So you are allowed to choose on what event that webhook has been triggered. You can configure that in the GitHub, but here we are just using only the push events. So whenever I do a commit on that, I want this job to be triggered. Okay. So let me click on add webhook. Okay. And that you should be able to see the webhook has never triggered. So once you saved it, if you click on that on the bottom, you can see one has been triggered for the testing purpose. So if you click on your first job, the last was, I think it was 17. I think so. Yeah. 17. Okay. Fine. So you should see a check mark. So it will temporarily see whether I'm able to connect and do that. Okay. So let's come back. Once you configure the webhook here, let me click on configure. And let me uncheck the poll SEM and check the GitHub hook triggers for Git SEM polling. It will not have any option. You have to just enable that. Let me save that. So once you do that, so you will see another option called GitHub hook log. So this is fine. So the polling SEM will change to GitHub hook log. So if I go back to my repo and let me make a commit, you go to the code. Let me edit the test file. And let me add an entry called testing webhook. Just committing it. Once I commit it, immediately I should see the new build has been triggered here. You can see the build number 18 has been triggered. So this is the typical way of triggering a Jenkins job using webhook, but here you need to keep your Jenkins accessible by the GitHub.